everybody. I'm here today to read to you one of our very special diary entries. I wonder if you can guess if it's yours when I begin to read it. Let's begin. Wow, I feel really good today, even though I've been off for 10 whole weeks. We have done so much. Mummy is still going to work because she's a key worker. Daddy has been helping me with my homework. I love IXL and Spelling Shed. When Mummy goes to work, it makes me sad, but she helps me when it's her day off. I have done lots of things. We've played Science Lab as, my, as a family. I have got to wear my super goggles. I have made a lava lamp and I've made a bouncy ball. I celebrated VE Day in our front garden and Captain Tom raised money for charity. Mum has done some crafts with me. I've made a police car out of a cardboard box. While I have been in lockdown, we have missed lots of birthdays. Eight so far. It was my birthday last week. I was six that day. My best friend Jack came around and brought me a gift and we played on the bouncy castle. I really look forward to going back to school and seeing my friends. Love, love Robert Shilk. What an amazing piece of writing and even amazingly beautifully presented. So proud of you, Robert. Well done to everybody for taking part in our writing project. See you soon. Bye. Hi everyone. I just wanted to read you three really short extracts from some of the amazing um, diaries that we had in Two Sycamore. This one's from Ned. Weeks have gone past, but we're still in lockdown. We can go out in the car now. We go to the woods a lot um, for a walk. And we also go to work with mummy at her forest school. It's great because I get to think and get to climb the trees. I've made friends with the key worker children, but I miss my friends so much. I've seen some of my friends either at a two metre distance or on my video chats. It was Alex's birthday in April. I made him a cake and we took balloons to his house. I miss playing with him. It's normal to see people with masks on. We're used to making sure that we stay away from people. Quite a different life from the one that we used to live, isn't it? And this one's a little bit from Casper. It's been eight weeks since lockdown started. My school was closed and everything else was closed, like the shops and parks. For the first few weeks, I could only go once a day for a walk. I didn't like it. I felt confused and angry. Mum said it was like a school holiday, but it wasn't. I could not go out to the park or to see my friends or to see my cousin. It was not allowed because of the virus. Supermarkets were open at first, but only mum or dad were allowed to do the grocery shopping. They said it was not safe for children to go, even to a supermarket. I didn't like it at all. We celebrated Easter at home and we didn't go to Poland to see my grandparents. I was disappointed. There were no flights and I missed my grandma and grandpa. But I called them every single day and that was nice. Grandma said I may be able to come to Poland in July or August. Very different from what we would normally have for our holidays, isn't it? And then here's one. Um, which is from Isla Rose. Feeling proud. The Proud Project has been set to school. It made me think about proud things that I have achieved and people I know who I'm proud of. I'm going to send my neighbour Hayley a letter to tell her how proud I am of her, still going out to work as a police officer. I've also sang my heart out on our Proud Project for the song called Proud by Heather Small. Everywhere I look at the minute, there's rainbows in houses, windows, schools, fire stations, on the TV. I love to still go outside and clap every Thursday. I'm getting a little bit bored of looking at these same old, wind, um, these same old walls. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit bored of looking at these same walls day in, day out. So I suggested to Mummy that Henry, my brother and I, change bedrooms. It's great because I get the bigger room now. I think my mum's gone mad though. She's actually moved five rooms around since this virus started. I feel like I've actually moved to a new house. So all these amazing things that we get to do differently because we're not in school every day. So we have to embrace the difference, embrace the change. Um, but I hope we get to see you all again soon. Take care. Bye bye. Hello, it's Mrs Garrett here. We're going to read some of your super 
diary entries from lockdown, Mrs Mason and I are so impressed and we're stood in front of all of the entries in school. So well done everybody. Uh, I'm going to start with Georgia, so I hope you're listening out there George this morning. Hello everybody, my name is George and it's the 23rd of March. Today was a special day, we stopped school, but they gave us work to do. It was so weird. I was not sure if I would go back this year. I was really unsure. The next day, I started homeschool, which was so different. A week later, I found out that I was allowed to see my friends. I was so annoyed. Sorry, I wasn't allowed to see my friends. The next day, we went on a walk. My sister ran off and I had to go after her. Wow, what a super diary entry, George. Sounds like you were a little bit disappointed that you couldn't come to school, but hopefully we might get to see you before the end of term. Rolling on to the next one, Mr Wright. Here comes Jack, week one. Today, the Prime Minister announced that all schools will be shut down on Monday. It made me feel sad and uncomfortable because I had homeschool. I've never done homeschooling before. At the weekend, we went into lockdown, so we couldn't go outside. Well, except in your garden. On Monday, the first day of homeschooling, we started the day with Joe Wick's PE. Same here, Jack, I did that. After that, we did some schoolwork until about 10.15. Then, me and my little brother, Harry, had a break in the garden until 10.40. After our break, we did some more schoolwork till lunch. So after we had lunch, we did some more work and then our mum let us play until bedtime. And it was pretty much the same for the rest of the week. And that is the first week of lockdown. Wow, Jack, it sounds like you've been doing lots and lots of homeschooling. Good boy, super diary entry. Oh, and a lovely illustration here. Oh no, something to do with the hospital. <gasps> Next one, on to Lily May. I might skip here rather than reading everybody's from the beginning. Let's have a look. Hello, diary, it's me again, Lily May. Today it's my eighth birthday. I should be at school, but we are still not allowed. And I am really missing my friend and my teacher. Oh, we've missed you lots too, Lily. Oh, hang on, diary, there's a knock at the door. I'm back, and I'm so happy it was my nana and granddad. They came and put my presents on the doorstep, and I'm so happy I could see them, but sad I can't hug them. Just a moment, there's another dock at the door. This time it's Mama and Grandad. They left a card and some money on the doorstep. I'm so happy they sang happy birthday to me. Well, Lily, it sounds like you had a super birthday, even in lockdown, really pleased about that. Now I'm just gonna have to open my iPad now onto Showbay because we've got Caitlin's, who did, was it about a five page one, Mrs. Mason, this it one? It was massive. It's ne never ending uh, lockdown diary, so well done, Caitlin. So, here goes, first day of lockdown. I never thought that 2020 would lock down the world. My mum told me on Saturday I wouldn't be going to school on Monday, and that I'd be doing my schoolwork at home. I said to my mum, do I have to wear my uniform? Mum said no. Mum woke me up and told me that the dining room is now the classroom. I had my breakfast, and then at 9 a.m., mum told me me and my brother Jack had that schoolwork had started. My mum gave me tasks from the pack, school sent home. I thought to myself, this isn't fun. Jack had his work uploaded online. Mum reassured me that school had set up Shobie and that my work would be uploaded onto it. This has made me feel better. And what some wonderful work you have been uploading on Shobie ever since, Caitlin. Okay, so well done, Elm. I think Mrs. Mason's going to make a video now. So we'll see you all soon, hopefully. Bye for now. Hi, three Elm. It's so lovely to see you. Part, part two of reading your lockdown journals. Me and Mrs. Gallet are so proud of all your fantastic writing. So I'm going to read three more out now. And this is Jack Scully's, I believe. Hi, how are you all? It's been 10 weeks since I've seen you guys and I'm missing you all very much. Now let me tell you all a little bit about how life has been for me. At first 
first I was excited about lockdown because it meant that I didn't have to get up as early to get ready for school and I didn't have to leave the house either, which was great that I wouldn't be able to see my friends for a while, although it did mean that I could spend more time with my family. And I know you've been spending lots of really good quality time with your family, Jack, and have really made the most of it, so well done. This is Sienna Bees. Fantastic. We were so impressed with the amount of writing that you've done. All of you have done multiple pages, so really well done. Dear Diamond, how are you all? I had lots of schoolwork on show me because school is closed. It's been very sad because I can't see my friends. Oh, I forgot. My name is Sienna and I am in 3L. 21st of March, first day of lockdown. I went to visit my granddad as mummy thought we might not get to see him for a long time. And she was right. Brilliant, well done Sienna. And our last one for now, this is Issa's work. Issa typed his up very beautifully, as well as writing it out, so well done, Issa. Dear Diary, week one, 20th of March, 2020. Hello, how are you all? I hope you are all fine. Today was a school day, and I did what I normally do at school. But after school, my dad, my big brother, and I went to pick up my mum from the airport. It was two hours drive to get there and we had to wait one more hour until my mum and my little brother came out. I was tired and happy to see that my mum was back. When we reached back at our house, we went straight to bed because all the travelling made me sleepy. So here I go. Oh no, wake up, wake up. I have to tell you something else. It was me who was tired, not you. You know, this week we all started doing our work on Shobi, which was a new thing for me. That is what I wanted to tell you. Okay, you can sleep now. I will tell you later why we had to do our homework on Shobi. Well done, everyone. So fingers crossed, we're all going to get a chance to maybe see each other before the summer holidays for a little bit of time back together. So hopefully we'll be seeing each other face to face very soon. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, so this diary entry is from Hamad in year four. So he has written, the noise and the news made everyone worried and we heard about the virus going around. I heard my school was going to close. I felt so sad as we were not sure when it would open again. It seemed exciting at first, at first as we did not have to follow our normal routine. As time passed, things were not the same as we imagined. We could not go anywhere or meet anyone and I found that really hard, especially because I could not visit my grandparents who lived close by down the road. I was doing most of my schoolwork online and some paperwork as our teachers had, that had prepared for us. We have done so many activities such as decorating our house for Ramadan, cooking, colouring and playing in the garden. We sometimes go bike riding and go for a walk whilst playing games such as Pokemon Go. Hi everyone, I hope you're sitting comfortably. I'm going to read a small selection of Year 5's diary entries during lockdown. So I hope you enjoy them. They were all fantastic. I've just chosen a small selection. I'm just going to read a few extracts out of those. So we're going to get started with Theo's. I have it on my um, laptop here, so I'm going to read it out from there. It's a fantastic one. Theo's superb lockdown diary. Hello. I'm going to read to you my unbelievable diary entry about lockdown. This is how it is for me during COVID-19. I hope you do enjoy the read, sit back, relax and stay tuned. March. It's the first tremendous month of COVID-19 and I knew it was going to be a piece of cake. Most things were a confusing surprise, but it was also interesting. Something that I thought was interesting is how we did cake decorating in home economics and I learned how to create icing. Oh, that sounds fun, doesn't it? Continuing on with the interesting list, we had a fabulous science experiment and mysterious walks exploring islands, lakes and lagoons. I grew plants, did drawing challenges and did PE with Joe Wicks, which was surprisingly hard. Now a short extract from Abiha's diary entry. Dear Diary, Week 1, 23rd of March. This all started on Week 1 of lockdown. My mum and dad quickly rushed me in the car. Scared, confused and worried, I sat anxiously. I tried asking my parents, where are we going? Why did I leave school so early? 
still sat in the car with no answers. After some time, we arrived at Tesco, more like the whole school arrived at Tesco. And my mum went in to get essentials for this pandemic time. There was traffic, people shouting at each other, and worst of all, fighting for every inch of toilet paper. But thankfully, we had all we needed for now. Tesco was filled with customers and these two ladies were fighting over the last few toilet papers and one of them was an old lady. I forgot to mention my parents had explained to me about COVID-19, coronavirus, and that we have to go on strict regulations. Week two, 30th of March. Every day when I wake, all I hear on the TV is COVID-19, coronavirus, and all sorts of different names for it. Almost every day, my family and I fight over the different channel whose seat is whose and so on. Since homeschooling everything has changed so much, my routine has changed and, and schedule. I would rather go to school because I'm used to waking up early, putting my uniform on and seeing Molly, Mrs Dunn's adorable dog, at school. I also really miss doing my school jobs and seeing my friends and teachers. Now an extract from Finley's diary. Week four back from the holidays and guess what I got from Mr Hillier? My iPad! I am so happy. I can do everything more efficiently now. Today is another hot day. In fact, it's so hot we had to get out of the paddling pool. It felt nice and cool after getting out. We can have a chat on class discussion at 10.30 till 10.45 and 2.15 till 2.30. I now get to know all of my friends' stories during lockdown so far. We had just heard from the news that we're getting a lot of infections now. I'm starting to get a bit scared and thinking this virus is unstoppable. Week 7. Today I got to know Archie's phone number now, so I can FaceTime him and talk and play. Some things are getting better and better now, like we can go out as many times as we want instead of just going out once a day. And it's also stay alert instead of stay home. Not much this week, but on class discussion we do a game every afternoon like I Spy, Scavenger Hunt, Animal Guessing and more. These are really good fun. We've started reading our new class book, Time Travelling with a Hamster. It's really good, but I'm asking myself some questions like, why does a hamster need to time travel? And how can someone die twice? Thank you, Finley. I could keep going on reading yours. It's, it's fantastic, as I could with everybody else's. Well done, Year 5. Really impressed with everybody's diary entries. Just a few there, and we hope to see you really soon. Bye. Hello, Bye. everyone. I've got a couple of diary entries here I'd like to share with you from the writing project. Um, they're from the two Year 6s, and the first one I'd like to share with you is from Courtney. A beautifully presented diary there. Well done, Courtney. It starts with Dear Diary. Hi, it's me again. How are you? I wish this had never happened. How could somebody do this to us? I'm so enraged. On Thursday, they announced that we could go outside to clap for NHS workers at 8pm. My family clapped and most of the street did too. There was also a key workers group at school. My dad is working from home, so I didn't need to be in that group, even though my mum's a nurse. If only Corona wasn't a virus... If only people didn't catch the virus, if only coronavirus didn't spread, then none of this would have happened. Well, that was a, a short extract from Courtney's diary. Well done, Courtney. Um, my next example I have to show you is from Olivia. Another beautifully presented diary here. Um, the part I've chosen starts from week three. Dear diary, we ventured out of the house today as we needed some soap. My mum queued at the shop for at least three hours. Wow, three hours, that's a long time. Luckily, I had my phone with me, so I wasn't bored out of my mind. This wasn't too bad, I guess. Week four. This week was pretty eventful, if I do say so myself. It was the first week of the Proud Project. Yay! Also, on the 29th of April, Boris Johnson had his baby. It was Captain Tom's birthday as well that week. He turned 100 years old. Also, he got a flyby from two different types of World War II aeroplanes. And he received over 120 cards. And on top of that, a video message from the Queen and the Royal Family. If you're wondering why he got this, it's because he raised over £31 million for the NHS. Wow. And wow to Courtney and Olivia as well for producing two very reflective diaries, um, really sharing their thoughts and their feelings throughout the lockdown period. Well done, girls. Bye.